Rachel, thank you. Well, voters in one local community will be deciding whether traffic cameras will be going up on 480. So if they decide yes, you better watch your speed. First and foremost, Brittany Weir spoke to people about if they support this or not. As community members in Garfield Heights headed to the polls, they voted on whether or not to allow traffic cameras along I-480. They need the monitors because sometimes it's kind of awkward out there. Wilson Jones, who lives in Garfield Heights, says drivers on 480 tend to speed. People were actually all over the place, so this way it would make it a little bit more safe for people out there driving. Out. If passed, the cameras will only be used to enforce traffic violations on I-480. Dale Lane says he supports the cameras as long as the city makes it known that they are tracking your speed. I think it's better that they know they're there and then I, can, I think they'll just slow down automatically. If this issue passes, the city says at least 50% of the revenue from these fines will go to support police, fire services, parks and rec, and infrastructure. Uh, this should, I mean, you know, increase our force so that we can actually, you know, monitor our neighborhoods, make our neighborhoods more safe. But we're living in a different age now. So, yeah, you got to be extra careful when you vote, too. So. According to the city, a total of 18,356 vehicles were observed traveling more than 75 miles per hour in just six days along I-480. It's really dangerous. When I'm driving on 480, sometimes these people go 70, 80 miles an hour, and you have someone stop real fast in front of you, well, you know what happens. In Garfield Heights, Brittany Weir, 19 News.